Hi, I'm Dane Baptiste. I'm at Cornbury Festival with On Tracks TV. Keep watching. So let me tell you more about myself. I was, um, I was born in the 80s. Any other 80s babies in the room? Cool. Anyone here born in the 70s? Cool. Anyone here born in the 60s? All right. Anyone here born in the 90s? All right. Woo! Go fuck yourselves. All right. When I was a kid, I wanted to draw cartoons or be an immunologist. That was like my dreams. Yeah. Because I, cause I grew up in the 80s, so like Live Aid was a big thing. So yeah, I was like, yeah, well, yeah. if I was an immunologist, I could help out and stuff like that. But um, I kind of always enjoyed doing comedy. And is that, that maybe the aspect of it is that you can say, how, speak how you really say how you really feel. You know, I grew up in South London. I've never been walking down the street with my friends and a police van pulls up and says, can we speak to you boys for a second, please? I'm sorry, what's this about, officer? Been a few job thefts in the area and... Uh... <laughs> Just wanted to make some inquiries? Well, excuse me, I'm an unemployed drug dealer. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, officer. If I wasn't, you know, bogged down with, like, social convention and how I should act, what would I do? And, yeah, yeah so, and it's, and it's because, obviously, being that it's a solitary art form, a lot of the thought process is also about solace and what you do when you think by yourself. And that's kind of what the payoff comes from, is that you can say something that people are thinking, yeah. but social convention means they can't say it. I'm sure some of you can tell I am descended from immigrants. Um, <laughs> which is always a contentious thing to say because, you know, especially in current society, whenever you hear the word immigrant, people start going into the rhetoric. These immigrants are coming here and they are stealing our jobs. What's happened to my country? These immigrants are coming here and they are stealing our jobs. Let me ask you guys a question. You ever seen a job getting stolen before? So far as like taking normal stuff, uh, yeah, that, that can be like wage a jokes broke out or structured is kind of like the premise and then the setup and the punchline. So the premise in the setup for me is normally like dealing with like regular phenomena and then the punchline would either be how I would deal with it or maybe an ideal way of how I deal with it. So it might be like dealing with stuff with work or relationships and there's like, I can't believe you're bleeding. You're like, don't worry about it. You can leave me. No, I'm not going to leave you. I'm your boyfriend and your partner. No, you leave me. Go and get Mendoza in the drugs. <laughs> Oh, you would go, but you get a text message from her saying, I can't believe you left me with my period. That's the problem with you. <laughs> You've been together a year and a half and all you care about is drugs. If society was that, where you could say and be who you wanted without any kind of scrutiny, then probably wouldn't need comedy as much. Mm. And, and I guess it's the same thing. With it's any... an outlet, isn't it? Exactly, yeah. And I think as, as, the thing with art in general is that art is... It's the articulation of emotion or pain and, mm. you know, if people don't experience that, there's probably not the same kind of motivation for them to seek artistic expression. So, yeah, I think if I was probably fulfilled in another kind of job, then I could probably still, like, be happy to make people laugh, but not maybe as a profession. And I'm worried about what's happening to our young men nowadays. <laughs> you know, I was at a party a few weeks ago, having a good time, and I saw a guy eating a cake with a fork. <laughs> gone too far, I went right up to him, slapped that shit right out of his hand, told him to be a man. <laughs> he starts complaining, Dane, what's wrong with you? This is my wedding. Uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Thank you.